Okay, <laughs> I love that little burst of period cramp. Hey guys, it's Evie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little makeup video. I actually wasn't gonna film this week because I was like, I don't have any ideas. I love filming, but I never have any ideas. So please, if you're watching this, comment, let me know. Like, just tell me ideas because then I can keep uploading every week or at least try to. So today I thought I would do a little makeup video because I haven't done a makeup video on my channel in a long time. I used to do them all the time. Let's bring you today a little makeup video. I feel like the camera's kind of high. That is a better setup than what we had before. But yeah, I'm just going to be doing my makeup, talking to you about my life. My skin is not good. You can probably tell. It's not doing okay. Um, so... My lips are also very dry, so we're gonna put some lip balm on before we start. I've already put on my sun cream and my moisturizer. Make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this makeup. I've really got cramps. I started my period this morning. I don't like it. This is where I store all my makeup if you are interested. It's like a little box that opens out. It's not really organized, I can't lie to you. It's all kind of just shoved in there at the moment. That's just me. First thing, we're gonna prime using this MUA primer. Yeah, this is kind of like my makeup I have actually been doing for school a lot recently. I do kind of put concealer and stuff on for school more nowadays because my skin just isn't doing well. I am 18 in a bit over two weeks. Wait, a bit over two weeks. When this video goes up, it will be literally like 10 days and I'll be 18. Um, I turn 18 on the 22nd of December. That is literally a legal adult. To be honest, in my opinion, I feel like a legal adult is when you're 20. Legally, I'll be an adult. So that's kind of weird. I just find it so weird how I've been doing YouTube videos like since I was a child because like on this channel because I started this channel when I was 12. So I've been a child, I've been a teenager and now I'm gonna be an adult. So, you know, this has been a big journey, guys. I just find that so weird how I'm literally gonna be 18. If you wanna see, do you know what? I really, really wanna do say it or shot it videos. I love watching them so much. I can actually do one when I'm 18. If you do wanna see say it or shot it videos, let me know because Bethany and I really wanna do one. I'm now gonna move on to concealer. Basically, concealer is different. I used to use like the glossy concealer or my bourgeois one which I just got in like 2016 and I've caved and I bought the Tarte what's this again shape tape I've been wanting this for so long and I just just caved I was like you know what? we're gonna get it and I got it off QVC for like so much less than it usually would be I actually got two for 30 and then I sold one I really like it it makes my like skin look just nice like it sits nice on my skin I do the little hack where you do like one like that yeah I'm not even gonna try and explain it, you can see it. So we just pat them with our finger because my beauty blenders are not doing well. I don't really wanna use them on my face. I actually got a Royal Techniques one, like unused. It was like in the box from a charity shop and it was rock hard. I don't know what they did to it. I've zoomed in. This feels kind of close and personal. You can really see how my skin is not doing well. Look how good that is. In regards to picking my next step, we have to like, hand and if we're like applying for UCAS like universities we have to hand it in by I think it's like the beginning or the middle of January and I haven't even picked a course so we have a slight problem I do actually have a like appointment thing with the careers advisor who works at our school which is gonna be hopefully really helpful and I have that on Wednesday I'm going between psychology digital media and paramedic science they're like the three ones and i've written a personal statement for paramedic science can't go over how good that concealer is i just think it's so good also christmas honestly if you celebrate christmas let me know if you're excited for it because i know that like some people just aren't really feeling christmasy because of like the year we've had and like how christmas is kind of different if you celebrate christmas let me know if you're feeling in the christmasy spirit do you know what i love christmas jazz music i didn't realize this was such a great thing for me i find christmas songs kind of get generic after a while and just like overused and i listen to them and i like them but sometimes you want to have something a little bit different and a different vibe christmas jazz oh my god i feel like it originated from tiktok when i started seeing christmas tiktok videos a few months ago and people were listening to christmas jazz like they put the audios as christmas jazz and i was like dying i think christmas jazz is such a vibe and i put it on my alexa while i was wrapping presents the other day and oh my gosh 
incredible vibes. But yeah, I feel like I just love Christmas every year. Christmas, I'm sorry to be like basic because I feel like everyone says this, but like Christmas is my favorite. Something about the vibe of Christmas just literally makes me feel so safe. I also really want, this is so random, I'm literally talking about the most random things, but I really want a Christmas vintage jumper so I can put my white turtleneck under it and like wear my weekday jeans. Isn't that just like such a vibe? I also lost five followers on Instagram. If you want to follow my Instagram, if you're not already, go and follow it and let me know from this video and I'll follow you back. Something I've really wanted to do is post more outfit like photos on Instagram. I love doing outfit like photos and stuff and I'm so, so into fashion at the moment. The thing is, it's kind of hard to take outfit photos by yourself so I'd have to ask someone to do it with me and I just feel bad asking. And number two, it's just finding the time and also finding where I have a good outfit because a lot of the time I'm just wearing joggers and like the exact same thing because it's just the comfiest thing. This is our lovely, I've had this for so long, Maybelline Master Contour Stick. It's like a highlighter and contour stick. I don't really use the highlighter that much. I usually just use the contour. Look how good this is. And it's literally nice on top of that concealer as well. But generally, I am pretty good at the moment. Not that anyone asked but I'm just giving you a little life update. I was quite stressed about school stuff. I am still quite stressed about school stuff, but I've kind of got it like under control at the moment. Like YouTube for me is a really good way to kind of like de-stress and get away from school stuff, but still be productive, if that makes sense. I'm really happy that I've got back into doing YouTube. And I'm also really happy that I focus so much less on views than I used to. Like I used to be like, oh no, I can't film that video because like no one watch it. And it was more that like people would see that I got less views on the video and I got scared that they'd be like, oh my gosh, like she got less views, like she's boring, whatever. And it's not all about views by any means, but obviously that's just what kind of comes to your head. I just get worried that like people are gonna see like, oh, she's got less views on this. But honestly, I've learned to not care and just upload what I wanna upload. And I, like it blows my mind that on every video, at least 100 or 200 views, like that is crazy to me that like around that amount of people want to literally click on my video and watch it like if you're watching this right now you are amazing you have given me this little platform and i cannot thank you enough so so grateful honestly that was a little bit cheesy but i'm so grateful i just thank you so much i don't mean to be generic and boring but brown clothing right now is everything to me i love it i think it's so cool brown and like sage clothing I get inspired so much on TikTok and everyone has such cool outfits with like those colours. I don't know what size I'm doing. Hi. Um, I am going to have a water break so you're going to come with me because I know that's what you wanted to do. I also really need a wee. Um, I don't really know if you can come with me for that guys. I'm going to go to the toilet quickly and then we'll be back. We are back from the toilet. What the hell is going on with the camera? We're gonna continue our makeup. Where were we? Let's use our MUA loose setting powder. I probably should try out some other powders. How has this not run out? I've had it for so long. Lovely stuff. I feel like recently my makeup has just been sitting on my skin better and I don't know what it is. I kind of put a lot of powder on, I can't lie, because I hate feeling like I have like sticky skin. Do you know what I mean? Now we're gonna do some bronzer. I either use this one in my Sephora one or my little Too Faced sample, which should be gone by now, but here we are. I think I'm gonna use this one today just because it's matte and I kind of want it to be matte. Where's my bronze brush? There we go. I kind of tap it because then it doesn't move the makeup underneath. And then I just kind of shove it in my eyelid. That doesn't make any difference. Then we're gonna take our fat powder brush from Real Techniques and blend it all out like there is no tomorrow. A few blush I've been going between recently, if you watch my videos and you just know me, I don't really know, you might know that I usually use the Glossier Cloud Paint. Recently I've been using the Benetint by Benefit as well, because I don't know, I just, I like to mix between the two, depends on how I'm feeling, but I'm gonna use the Benefit one today. I just literally go like that and then blend it out. I guess this is like really red, so it's like Christmassy. Christmassy vibes. And these blend so nice as well. Okay, as for highlight, because I do like my highlights well, I usually just use 
the high beam by benefit yeah that is my highlight i also really need to pack my eyebrows but i just can't be bothered guys i really can't depending on what i'm wearing sometimes i will use this nyx like color palette love this beautiful stuff like line my eyes or something like my actually this is the thing okay i can't find a thin like eyebrow eyeliner brush i can use to do this eyeliner and make it look better so if you know i can get a really thin nice eyeliner brush because like this is so like thick then let me know apparently purple's really good with um hazel eyes this one might work okay wait that might be good actually this is the thing i really want to do black eyeliner more often i love black eyeliner like liquid eyeliner but i just can't do it this is what we have i think that looks kind of cool i'm gonna clean it up and then i'm gonna come back and it better look better when i come back because i want to make this look good brb right so this everyday makeup look turned into a little dramatic pink eye kind of vibe my cramps are making me really upset right now now we're gonna do some mascara i kind of use a little mix i have my glossier one which i use last sensational i do a little bit of a change around when i'm feeling like it however i think today i'm gonna use a last sensational so i'm literally just gonna make it i actually also have l'oreal telescopic which i might actually use a little bit of There we are with the eyes. Very cool, very lovely. And then for my eyebrows, I'm a bit of a weird one. Um, I hardly ever do anything to them just because they're kind of just weird. Like they just never cooperate with me. Um, but I am just gonna put a little bit of brow gel. I also, like I said, I need to pluck them so badly. Now we'll put some lip gloss on. This is Beauty Pie. Lovely stuff. And I just put it on. Despite the thing in my eye, <laughs> this is what we have going for makeup. I think that looks pretty cool, if you ask me. My table is now a complete mess. I'm going to go ahead and straighten my hair and then come back for the finished look. I'm also going to get a different outfit on um, and put some jewellery on. And then we'll come back for the finished look. So I will see you in probably like half an hour because it takes me a while to straighten my hat. So see you in, see you in a bit. And we are ready. So, this is the finished look. I decided to put on this little top from Zara, which is kind of too big for me, but we won't talk about it. Cause like pink, pink, you know? But yeah, this is where we are. This is the finished um, look. And I put some jewelry on and stuff as well. This kind of ended up a get ready with me to take Instagram photos because that is what I'm gonna do because I'm not wasting this opportunity. My stomach is also rumbling because I need lunch. I'm gonna put on my um, weekday jeans and I'll show you what they look like. This is the finished outfit. Just paired it with my new fave jeans. I literally love these, they fit so perfect. Weekday row jeans, very nice, very cute. If I end up taking any outfit pics for Instagram, Let's just go check them out. Um, and I'm gonna pair it with my fave hoodie. This is the outfit, very nice. And this is the finished look. So yeah, that is the end of this little get ready with me makeup video. I don't really know what it was, but I really, really hope you did enjoy it and enjoyed my little get ready with me. I'm literally boiling. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you all loads. Let me know video ideas down below so I know what to film. Um, and yeah, I love you all loads. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.